Thank you so much. I see your drum kit. Over and out, you go have it. We have two hours to get this room. Looking like a hotel room. I would say that's extravagant, but honestly, that's kind of what I'm going for. I feel like I'm overly excited for what's about to happen. Can you tell everyone who is coming to our house in two hours to live at our house? You guys do that. You have your walkie-talkie time. Great. I'm going to organize your Aunt Talia's room. Apologies for the walkie-talkies in the background, but this is the background noise of my life right now. And if I have to deal with it, you have to deal with it. So if you watch my last vlog, you'll know that Talia came home early. She surprised us. But she was always going to come back for a month. She's here for some weddings, to see us, because she's been away for 10 months. She moved to London indefinitely. Is that the word? Like, just what did the experience? What did the experience? So we'll see what happens. So she is going to stay at our house for at least two weeks. And then I think maybe my parents' house for two weeks. Fox has graciously given up his room that honestly he doesn't even sleep in. He sleeps downstairs with Malachi in the bunk room. She's going to be here in two hours. I just want to make it a bit more luxe and a bit more 28-year-old girl vibes. Except she's obsessed with Toy Story. So I thought it would be funny to put like All right, are you ready for adventure? this on her bed. But I want it to be like a bougie Airbnb or like even like a bougie hotel when you rock up and there's like a pamper pack on the bed I'm thinking of steaming this linen robe oh my gosh thank you so much linen robe towel and then I might even give her some skincare because surely I have some PR skincare that I'm not gonna use or I'm not gonna get to Let's make a little pamper pack on the bed. I know to some this is so extra, but this is my love language. Like I love hosting people, cooking for people. I'm just working out if they're fighting or playing army. Boys are crazy. <laughs> anyway, my love language is not gift giving, but it is like taking care of people and hosting people. So I thought this linen robe is a bit luxurious. Honestly, this is good enough. We are on a time limit. Hey, I can either do my favorite checkered towel, or do you know what's nice when you stay at somewhere other than your house? A crisp white towel because white doesn't lie. Like I hate going places and there's like a dark charcoal towel. I'm like, is that clean? All right, let's do white. Her own hand towel matching. Let's place that and see how it looks. I feel like most nice hotels I go to, it's in a roll. It's so weird because I feel like Talia, my little sister and I used to do this kind of stuff as a game. We'd play hotels or that we were living in a boarding school and we'd make the room up. Like, I don't know, it's weird doing it for real. I will never claim to be the world's best folder. I'm actually the worst in the family. Just above Fox and Malachi, but Kurt is a much better folder than me. But this is looking good so far. I'm gonna give her my favorite hyaluronic serum by Esme. A vitamin C serum, this oil control, gua sha, and the Esme firming moisturizer. Not the aesthetic, but nostalgic and she'll get it. But doesn't this look cute? Do you want to make her a welcome card? No. Okie dokie. <laughs> Can you tell Fox isn't my colorinner and my drawer? He's my builder. Malachi, do you want to make Ani Tulls a card? No. No? Okay, no card, no card. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, I've had a last minute idea to finish off the little package on her bed. So Talia's just called me and she's on her way to my house. And I walked past my office and I thought this is gonna be the perfect finisher. These are the cards that I have on my office desk. My friends Haley and Jared are actually the designers of them. This is not sponsored at all. I just think they're so beautiful and like the perfect little gift. They come in a box like this and they're called Bloom cards. And they are affirmations, encouragements, and reminders for pregnancy birth and motherhood. Now my sister isn't pregnant, she's not a mother, and she's not gonna go through birth anytime soon, but some of these affirmations are just so beautiful and my sister's a very sentimental, deep, poetic kind of person. So I'm just gonna pick one of these cards and put it on her bed. I'm actually gonna link these below because I love supporting my friends' creative projects, but this is such a beautiful gift for someone who is gonna give birth. I should do like a little bundle and bundle this with my pregnancy workout guide. How nice would that be as a present? This is a fun one. I don't always know what I'm doing and that's okay. I won't compare myself or my baby. 
And that's too specific. One day at a time. That is cute. That's my winner so far. One day at a time. How am I going to pick? And I always leave a nice one on my desk. On mine, we're going to say, God is holding me in his hand. He is lifting me up. Amen. Amen. Top three. I am grateful for this season. God is always with me. I'm not alone. One day at a time. I'm going to go with this one. It may seem a little bit cliche, but like, you know what? I just feel like it's right. Oh, guys, I'm, I've outdone myself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is he ruining it? Is he ruining it? And the drum set. <laughs> Oh, this is cute. He's ruining it. I'll just put him here next to the art station. There we go with a side of walkie talkies. Welcome to your room for a few weeks. Oh, my drum set. That's all I care about. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Welcome to Chateau Latil. Oh, oh, I just steamed that. <laughs> You get situated, Yay. I'm going to make dinner. Oh, this is dreaming. Thank you. Hotel. I'll just let you have some privacy. Oh, okay. If you want to hang out, I'll be downstairs. <laughs> because it's, it's just me. me. It's just me. <laughs> it's just me done this. <laughs> I make breakfast, darling. I mean, if you don't do that to me tomorrow morning, it's going to be really upset. <laughs> New day, same shirt, messy house, grumpy children. This is why I get nothing done. We're not having ice cream right now. Have a bar and then I'm gonna get ready, okay? I feel like I've been a little bit too busy being the hostess with the mostest because I just have let my house crumble. Every single room is bad. When my house is chaotic, my mind is chaotic. So today's gonna be a little bit of a reset day. This house, Malachi, needs an overhaul, doesn't it? <laughs> Literally today's to-do list or goal is organize my house. I have to make three dinners. I don't have to, I'm choosing to. I'm making a dinner for one of my friends who just had a baby. I'm making dinner for another one of my friends who is pregnant and like so nauseous that she can't even look at food. So I'm making dinner for both of them and then I'm also making dinner for like us. Like I said, my love language is like food and taking care of people in that way. I literally had insomnia last night because I was stressing about making three dinners at once. I enjoy this, I love doing this and for some reason I just could not sleep because I was imagining like chopping all the onions and like what I'm gonna make and like do I make the two girls the same dinner and then me something else or do I do like her an Asian stir fry and like me and my other friend anyway I was just spiraling <laughs> originally today I was gonna have a work day I was gonna get the boys babysat but our babysitter had a migraine today so I'm just taking that as a sign to just like fully have an at-home reorganization day for myself and my own mental health I'm gonna organize the house and I love what Watching those vlogs and I know you guys love watching those vlogs and then to take care of like my friends and fulfill my love language I'm gonna make my friends dinner the drama Malachi so I haven't fully worked out what I'm gonna make them yet I'm thinking of doing like a one pot dinner for both of them because don't ask me why I have three cast iron pots like the Dutch ovens so I figured I would give them one each and they can just like keep it until they're ready to give it back you know I'm like not desperate for it back and I feel like that will just reduce my washing up you know I will link it here I filmed a recipe before that I usually go to when I'm making like a love meal if someone's had a baby or they're having a tough time I usually do like a wholesome lasagna or a lamb ragu but because I'm making three, I just want to decrease the washing up. Also because I have kids. It's a lot to juggle. Okay. If you, you blink as a mum and your house flips upside down. Are you noticing this? Yep. <laughs> Sunny side up, my healthy cookbook. I'm thinking of making the girls. This is good because I can make a big bulk batch. I just wouldn't do the prawn because I'm not sure if they like prawns. The simple paella. Paella. How do you say it, Tals? I think it's like paella. I think it's paella. But us Aussies don't have the best dialect. <laughs> I'm not even going to make a list. I'm just going to take a photo of my ingredients. And then obviously I'll just double it. If you have my cookbook, Sunny Side Up, it is page 120. And this recipe is dairy free, gluten free and nut free. Link in my description box below. If you want my book that also looks stunning. In our kitchens, great. Let's do it. Okay. Let's just get everything chopped up at once.
Mui, why every time I cook, do you want a snack? Yeah. You want a yellow one? Yeah. Yellow? Daddy, so I can finish cooking. Snack for Foxy and snack for Mui. And then mommy needs to yeah. keep cooking. Yeah. I would say my number one tip with this paella, paella, I honestly get anxiety even saying it. My number one tip with this recipe is cutting everything first, prepping everything because then it's all in one pan. So let's just do all the hard work now and then it's done. Malachi, you seem very awake and I'm not ready for you to give up your day nap at all. Everything is prepped. Got my chicken, chorizo, capsicum, peas, no, beans, no, snow peas, peas, tri-colored cherry tomatoes, arborio rice, stock, onion, garlic, and then I'll have the herbs and spices later. Surely we've all had an experience or been in a season where we just wanted someone to take care of us, whether it was our family or our friends. It's like those moments where you crave a village to care for you. For me, I've had two seasons like that. The first one was postpartum with Fox, just because it was my first baby. And the second one was when I was postpartum with Malachi and we were back to back in hospital six times. That moment there, I truly realized the importance of friendship and a village taking care of you. My friends seriously stepped up and they were sending me food and ordering me lunches. I cannot stress how impactful and important that was for me and my mental health to get through that season. So now even just experiencing that myself, I really try to make a conscious effort to be alert and aware of my friends and what they're going through, whether they've had a baby or they're going through heartbreak or whatever it is. I think just cooking a simple meal for a friend goes so much further than we even realize. Dinner one, ready for Ali and her family. Dinner two, ready for Amber and her family. Family. And these, my mum sewed me these for Christmas and I used this one so much that I requested another one this year. Dinner delivery man, are you Back. gonna drop it off to Ziggy and Oxley? Look yeah, at good, you, good. look like a little baker boy. Send me addresses. Okay. I'll put shoes on. Bye gorgeous. Okay. I'm looking very much how I feel right now. I haven't sat down all day, which if you're a mum, that's honestly the usual. That is the norm. It's 4 p.m. The only time I've sat was in the car going to get groceries. Malachi's asleep. He's gonna be awake in like 17 seconds. I have our roast in. I'm doing a three hour slow cooked roast. And I've just discovered that I have red wine everywhere because I seared my roast in the fry pan and deglazed the pan with red wine and beef stock. Now I have my whole kitchen to clean and like I haven't even started on that house organization approach idea that I had today. I'm just tired. Like it gets to this time of the day and I'm like, should I just sit? Like honestly, Abby, you're like, yes, this is the vibe. Like do I just sit until Malachi wakes up and then I just look around and I feel guilty. <sighs> Even my sister was like, bro, your life. And I think like your life, like a mum's life, a stay at home mum's life just like doesn't stop. I am so grateful. I have never, ever been this happy, content, fulfilled, and like, I feel like I'm living my purpose right now of like just having my boys at home. I feel so grateful, so grateful that I'm able to be a stay-at-home mom. I really do. But yeah, if you are in the same boat as me and you just feel like, what is happening to my house every day? It's a bomb. Same. Literally same. And people say to me, just leave it till the end of the day and like do a big clean. By the end of the day, I am cooked. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted and I don't want to do that. Why is there a spoon here? Why is there a spoon here? I want to spend time with my husband. I want to like sit and like read my Kindle. I want to do fun stuff. Okay, the plan is park everything. Park everything until tomorrow except the kitchen. Like this space has to be clean before Malachi wakes up, which like we have five minutes. Let's clean this space and then like sit. We'll, like sit for three minutes. That would be amazing. I wipe everything onto the floor because I'm just gonna vacuum it anyway.
medal this week on your cake. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Baba, do you want a bus cake? <laughs> or a bluey cake? <gasps> a burp cake? <gasps> a burp cake? Yeah. <laughs> do you want a bluey cake? Yeah. Do you want pepper pig cake? No. No. Blue bus cake? No. No, what cake do you want? I want a fire cake? No fire. No fire? You want me to blow it out? Yeah. <gasps> All gone. Gone. All gone. Fire. Fire. All gone. All gone. Fire. You want fire on the cake? You want candles? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there will be candles. I don't think it's the time to ask you these questions. Where is something? You don't want to eat a chili. I'm telling you. Hey. Yeah, you've been obsessed with this all week. Look, it's spicy. Ah, uh, hot. Can mommy have it? <laughs> Thanks. Can you find something green? A pear. <gasps> Gosh, you're clever. That's green. Can you find me something orange? Orange. Yes, orange on the sticker. Gosh, you are so clever. Do you want to go read a book before Fox gets home? Yeah. Okay, let's go pick a book. Okay.